Before I got here, I was homeless. Homeless to the point, didn't have nowhere to go. I had to separate from my children. That was the most hardest thing ever because my children is my rock. Growing up, my mom was on drugs and I always said I was gonna be better than my mom. But just not having a support group, you just fall. When they housing up, gave me the call October the 3rd to come and sign this lease. I was ready. Walked through the door and seen beautiful furniture. Uh, what? I was like, amazing. Big, huge bedrooms. We even to the point had food in our refrigerator. I never imagined coming in here with a fully furnished apartment. It was amazing. And ever since then, my, I was like, okay, gotta get myself together. At first, she was a little apprehensive about, you know, working with staff. We, we didn't trust no one. Trust plays a long ways with me and my son. But then she started coming down and she was open to deal with a lot of issues that she was having. And she used to come down in the evening time and just seek my advice. What would you do? Or, you know, how would you go about this? I felt like at times all she needed was a pep talk. I'm proud of you and never stop. Mr. Jamal, the pep talks, I know you can do it, um, telling me you're gonna be in places that you never thought you would be in. I'm like, what you mean by I'm gonna be in places I ain't never, mm, mm And when she noticed that I believed in her, she believed in herself even more. And so I started to see her gradually move in terms of meeting her goals. So years went on, my mental got better, and I thought I'd have to take this opportunity right now where I have a stable place, a roof over my head, don't have to pay no utilities. Went back to school, get my GED, graduated 2017. And more to come. That's right. It's more to come. That's all I can That's say. Right. Housing Up gives you the opportunity to help yourself because if you're, you're not together, you can't help no one else. Hi, Leah, how you doing? As a little girl, I always said I wanted to give back. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something for my community. I'm gonna open up a candy store. I can sell to the community, and every month, once a month, I can donate cash back to a family. What is your business Her business is growing and is flourishing. Thank you. You're welcome. This home is always out there helping and providing. Let's say tonight is bingo night. When I get here, she's setting up the table, she's setting up the bingo, spades night, she has the cards, she pulls the tables, she pulls the people, she makes the phone calls. Everybody, I'm here, Mr. Austin's here, let's do it. And they come down, they come down for her. She's living and she's showing through example. She's more of a doer. And that's what shines and really highlights Miss Holmes as a whole. She's using housing up as a stepping stone. She knows how to use the case managers. She knows how to use resident services. And she's just like, look, you know I'm not gonna be here long, right? How she looks at life now, there's no stopping Miss Holmes. There's no stopping her. You are the prime example of someone who came to Housing Up at zero, and you're at 10 right now, just from the hard work that you've done. From then to now, what an improvement I have. Wow, I'm so, so proud of myself and Housing Up helped me get me where I'm at. I'm happy, I wake up happy. When I can wake up and help one person, I'm good.